This right here is the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser First Edition, and I'm gonna show you what makes it special right now. Oh, I don't know how to do these claps. So to give you guys an idea, the First Edition grade comes at the top of the lineup, and they're only making 5,000 units of them. And then right below that is the Land Cruiser grade, and then you have the 1958 grade. But what that one carries into this one is the round LED headlights, which I actually like a lot. Very retro and a throwback to the original Land Cruiser. And on top of that, you get the Heritage Toyota badge up front. Full center is black, black plastic with functional grills down here. But the unique to the first edition is a metal skid plate. So that right there is unique to the first edition. So keep that in mind. You do get LED fog lights. These are rigid LED fog lights and you can change those colors between white and yellow on this one as well. You do get functional vents here to make a nice air current around to the wheels, but as far as the wheel package goes, it's not unique to it. It's similar to what we saw on the Land Cruiser grade, blacked out 18 inch wheels with 33 inch rubber hooked up to it. You do get disc brakes right there, but what's unique to the first edition, and I'll have you actually walk around here to see it, is the mud flaps. These are unique to the first edition. They should say, um, and we'll see what they say on the back because it's also unique as well. Right behind that are these rock sliders right here. So these rock sliders right here, unique to the first edition and they're metal and obviously they're meant for sliding on rocks. In case you guys didn't know, at home, that's what those things are for. But if you come back even further, you'll see another set of mud flaps, but these actually say first edition on it. Looks really cool and I think it's a nice touch. You can put those on yourself, but it's cool to see that they did offer it from the factory for this grade. If you come take a step up here, this does have the light gray roof so nice contrasting colorway and if you kind of stick up a little higher try to really take a look at that metal roof rack up top from the factory to attach your equipment so a lot of people could get it on their own from the aftermarket this one's coming with it from the factory so as far as exterior styling goes those are the biggest changes on the first edition but let me show you inside because it does get a little more unique from there all right, so Toyota did trust me with the keys to this, so we will be turning it on and starting it up for you guys. But starting with these seats, they are unique. They're black leather perforated seats, and they're heated and ventilated. On the Land Cruiser grade, you can get the Java leather or soft tech seats. These are actual marketed as leather seats. And they got really nice silver piping over here and contrast stitching down here. Another cool touch on the dash is this nice little like fabric trim that looks really cool that sits across the, the top line right there. And if you go to the door panel really quickly, you'll see first edition on that little panel. That's unique. Each of the four doors have that on the panel. That was a win. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's turn this on real quick and show you guys the tech and what you get there. Keep in mind guys, this is a very early prototype. This is not how it's gonna be in production form. So there are some quirks you're gonna notice, but just bear with me. It's gonna give you a really good idea of what to expect though. Starting with this center screen, it's a 12 inch, Touchscreen has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and this one's functioning. It looks really good, very responsive. I mean, again, not super responsive right now. Prototype, guys, bear with me here. Your volume knob is on to, off to the side for this larger touchscreen display. And then right below that are all your AC controls, heated and ventilation for your seats, heated steering wheel, two zone climate controls. And right below that, you have your camera view button. You press that, and it'll show you your 360 surround view camera. We have doors open, so it's a little off, which is fine, but that's your button to activate it three USB-C ports, two for charging dedicated, and then one for charging as well as data. So wired Apple CarPlay, Android Auto will go through this, charging is for that. And then right below that is your wireless charger, which is nice to see. Again, this is what the key fob looks like. Don't quote me on it though, because this is a prototype, so it might not look like this. Probably is though. Um, you get nice cup holders here, pretty simple stuff. And then this is where the meat and potatoes happens. This is where everything kind of comes to life. You have your transfer case controls down here, so you have four high, four low. You obviously wanna be in neutral for that. You have your center locker, your rear locker, and sway bar disconnect for the first edition. It comes standard, obviously. Trash control, brake hold, parking brake, downhill uh, assist uh, and crawl control, multi-train select, and drive mode. So what these buttons do is depending on what you're selecting, that this knob controls that. So if I'm in drive mode, this becomes your drive mode knob. MTS, this becomes your MTS knob. And then DAC crawl control, this becomes your DAC crawl control knob. So that's really cool to see that they're making this a, a dynamic knob as opposed to a static knob with three knobs for each of these modes. That's really cool. And you don't need to be in four wheel low to engage them. I'm in four wheel high and it let me engage these modes, which is really cool. You get engine start, stop button right there. Center gauge cluster display, it is polarized, so it's gonna be hard to see, but I'm gonna grab it right here. So you guys get an idea. Again, pre-production guys, this is not exactly what it's gonna look like. 
Uh, so just keep that in mind. Let's go over to the driver's side and take a look at what you get there. All right, so on the driver's side, the biggest difference I wanna tell you guys about the first edition is the fact that you get a thigh extension standard. That's the biggest differentiator for these seats. Outside of that material that I already showed you guys, the driver's seats gets a thigh extension. This thing's beeping at me because it's mad. And then as far as switch gear goes, you get power seats with two memory seat settings, both on the driver and the passenger side, but the, the memory seats is just on the driver's side. As far as switch gear goes here, auto high beam, you can turn off your parking sensors, the brightness on your interior lighting and displays. You have your fog lights, so if you want uh, white, yellow, or off, you can toggle that there. Your uh, inverter, you power it on from there. Power tailgate, fuel cap, and then a trailer brake right there. And then right here, you have the hood, which we're gonna pop right now. All right, so under the hood of the new Land Cruiser is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder hybrid. So it's straight out of what they have in the Toyota Tacoma. It makes 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission in the same architecture that you'd see on the Tundra. It goes engine, electric motor between the transmission, transmission, wheels, right? And in this case, full-time four-wheel drive system because it's the Land Cruiser. So MPG has not been announced, pricing has not been announced. The base model is supposed to start at the mid-55. This is the top of the line, so you can imagine it gets pretty far up there, especially with all the equipment that you're getting on this limited to 5,000 uh, production units uh, on this grade. I wanna close that. All right guys, so one thing I didn't point out is there is no full panoramic sunroof on none of the grades. This one only has a standard sunroof, which is, which is fine, honestly. And these back seats, I mean, I push the seat pretty far back. I'm five foot eight and I get solid leg room, even when I push the seat really far back, but I get really good headroom up here. And people above six feet can easily sit up front. There's videos on it on the social media out there. Check it out. Uh, but you get the same leather treatment on these seats. They aren't heated or ventilated, unfortunately. You get your uh, tether, the cover for your tether points for your uh, car seat, which is nice. If I pull this down here, you get cup holders and an armrest, and it's nicely padded. And then you get the AC controls, which is unique to this, uh, to this and the Land Cruiser grade, USB-C ports, and then your 12 volt outlet right there. But let me show you guys how these seats operate because it is only a two row SUV. I'm gonna show you guys how these, these, uh, these back seats fold. So they recline, so if I take this lever here, this is kind of like standard seating position, you recline them back, and if I just let it go flat, it automatically lifts up and flips up. It goes flat and it flips up. And you can do the same thing, actually, Ethan, you wanna try it with one hand, I'll hold this here to bring it down slowly. You lift that, we'll let that go slight. It flips up right away, and then you get a nice access into the back. It gives you more of a, you know, opening as far as storage capacity goes because when they are flat, you don't get a perfectly flat load floor. There is a lip here, so keep that in mind. But you do get a nice little compartment here if you wanna store things, that flips up, which is nice to see. But let's open the rear tailgate real quick. All right guys, opening up the rear tailgate, it's a power tailgate, so that's super cool. Comes up, like all of them are supposed to do. And then back here, you do get this little hump. I believe this is where your battery pack sits, that's why you do get that. You get these panels here which lift up on the on the Land Cruiser grade, I saw a little higher of a lip here, and it was a little storage cubby, so I'm not sure if that's pre-production or if that's final. Let me show you guys the inverter here real quick. AC 120 volt, 2400 watt inverter, which is awesome to see on an adventure vehicle. And there is obviously a privacy cover you could bring here. And you can tell this was kind of intended for three row seating, not on this one, uh, but kind of carrying over from the platform of the GX because they have cup holders back here. So that's kind of funny to see, and USB-C ports in the third row. Up top, you get speakers, and that's a part of the JBL sound system that you'd see on like the front A, uh, a pillars. They were there kind of peeking around. Uh, JBL is the premium sound system for Toyota. But let's close this real quick because unfortunately you don't get the you know split opening tailgate. You see your iForce Max badging here for that powertrain that's hybridized, and the Land Cruiser blacked out right here. Right above that, you press this, and then you can lift up the glass portion, which I'll do right here you get a nice quick access into the trunk, which is nice. So you don't have to commit to opening every time. You get quick access if you wanna just drop in some groceries. As far as towing capacity goes, the towing hitch is actually behind this plastic cover. I'm not gonna remove it, but it can tow 6,000 pounds. So that's kind of the limit on this one, which I think is solid enough for people who are, you know, gonna tow something in a pinch. 6,000 is what most people need if they're gonna need anything. So if you need something bigger, get a full-size truck. Tundra's available, F-150s, all the other big full-size tr trucks will really take you from there. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.